Over the next few weeks, I'm going to bring you all you need to know about what has become one of the hottest pieces of tech since the smartphone, starting with Drones 101 on the future. Welcome to Drones 101. Today we're learning what is a drone, how do they work, and then actually flying one. The term drone originated from the military, referring to any unmanned aerial vehicle with a pre-programmed path, basically no human control. Today the term has broadened to include anything from the highly sophisticated $100 million global hawk to this. $30 teeny tiny UDI 839 quadcopter. The quadcopter, four propellers, is the most popular consumer drone. Two propellers spin in one direction, while the other two spin the opposite, which is of course required to compensate for Newton's third law of physics that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. The remote control communicates to the quadcopter, which also has an onboard accelerometer and a gyroscope. Then, a microcontroller tells each propeller exactly what to do to allow for pitch, yaw, and roll. This is the DJI Phantom, which is pretty much the same one that crashed on the White House lawn, but we'll get to that next week. To be up and flying is quite simple. Number one, turn on the copter so it can locate satellites to establish coordinates when it flies. Number two, make sure you are in an open area in case you crash and you will. Number three, start the copter with the remote control. The left yoke is for propeller speed and the right is for direction. Now you're off and flying, or in our case, shooting video. But you might be wondering, how high can I fly? Can I spy on my neighbor? What does the FAA have to say about this? That's all next week on Drones 102 Ethics. For now, all you need to know about the basics of drones on 